So welcome for the blue corner, the fighter from Moldova, Sergei Kalish. His opponent for the red corner, the fighter from Moldova, give it up for Sergio Morozan. Presenting fighters for the blue corner, age 26 type. 1.76 meters, weight 70.3 kilograms, debuted in Octagon, fighting for live comrade from Moldova, Sergei Kalish! And the second fighter in the red corner, age of 19, height of 1.82 meters, weight of 70.3 kilograms, two fights, one win, one loss, fighting for Thai boxing from Moldova, Sergio Moraza! Lightweight bout, 70.3 kilograms, three rounds, five minutes each, extra one round, MMA rules. Referee, Denis Pokatilov. Listen to my comment. If you want, at your call, you lost. Back to your comment. Judge, judge, judge. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you switch your mind over to MMA here. A dynamic striking here from both gentlemen. Looping right hand there, a couple of them there from Chelash. And you certainly can see a bit of a height advantage. Look out, goes upstairs with the head kick there. Oh boy, those were some nasty shots that time. Both guys landing here early and seem to be content to keep this thing standing up right now. Look out, blocked that one there. Catches a right hand in return though. Oh boy, those are very, very hard shots going in. But those little gloves too, this one may not last much longer. So you can see it on your screen right there in the center, next to the clock, FIA Championship MMA rules. I think from here on out, folks, or at least on the majority of the shows, you're gonna be a mix of kickboxing and MMA. And of course, as I said, everything under the FIA championship banner. There is no longer Eagles MMA. And that one landed low. Oh. Yeah, that one. Right in the low hanging fruit. Oh boy, he he got the leg there and just really let him have it. Back kick that time. Whoa! Loop. There's another. These guys are really throwing these long range looping punches, and sometimes they are connecting very hard, just like that one. There it is again, another big overhand right. Back and forth action, these two really slugging it out here in round one. Oh, nice combination there. Kelesh tattooed him with that combo. Back comes Morozan here. Neither man holding back. Whoa, caught the chin that time. Look out, oh my. Somebody's gonna drop here, folks. And we've got first blood. Looks like Morozan, his, his nose is busted and just got popped in that nose again. You can see him wipe at it. Oh! And a running knee that time when he was on the ground! Referee gonna step in here, I think, and give him uh, some time. 
He hit him with a shot, and it looked like he was trying to get up. And as he was getting up, he got blasted with a knee. Let's take another look at it. He had one shot that, and is he going to dock him a point? It looks like he's going to deduct a point for that. Yep, one point. Oh, and he is cut too. Looks is that his? It looks like he's cut on the cheek. It looks like his nose is busted, and I think there's a cut somewhere on his face. It looks like on the cheek, and he's losing his balance here. Oh my! Look out! Big shots going in now. Oh! Oh my! What a war we've got here! Uh-oh! Oh, no! It says berserk on the back of his trunks. Both these guys are going berserk in there. Oh, this is not good here. Hard to see from this angle if he's got him or not. He may have him. He's wrapping the left arm around the back of his body now and putting the squeeze on him. Right hands, he's trying to fight his way out of it. Good luck with that. That thing is sunk in there deep. He may be able to slip out though. And he does. Wow. Really dodged a bullet that time. And he's letting him have it now with right hands. Kelesh fought his way right out of that hole. Referee steps in there and stands him up, and the crowd is loving that decision. Whoa! Oh my! What a round that was! Ladies and gentlemen, that was just absolute fireworks from start to finish in round number one. We had a very close call, uh, and there was a, a point deduction. Um, I believe it was Morozan, and we'll see it on the replay, who hit him with an illegal knee and was docked a point in round number one for that. Yep. Whoa, right there. Yep. There it was. And uh, later on in the round, Morozan, off of his back, almost locked in a triangle. Uh, but Kalash fought his way out, and then once they were stood up, they went right back to business and did not let up until the end of the round. And here we go, five minutes on the clock here as we kick off round number two. We are in the lightweight division, ladies and gentlemen, under MMA rules. Here we go again. These two firing away here. He may have a broken nose. I don't, look out, back fist that time there from Kelesh. One minute gone by here. Look out. Big right hand. Caught him with another one on the ground as well. Another one lands. Morozan finding the mark from a distance. Oh! Smashed his face again. Big shots going in from Morozan. 
and the left lands. Those are devastating shots. see some blood there on the face of uh, Kelesh. I don't see that he's cut. That could be his opponent's blood. Those were big, heavy hits, and he was spreading it on thick there. Uh, Morozan was uh, just hovering over his opponent. And referee going to go ahead and stand them up here, but... Uh, Crowd not worried about that call. They love it. They want to see these guys stand up and slug it out. And I don't blame them. I kind of do as well. I mean, I'm all for letting people work if that's what they want to do. Head kick goes in. Boy, these two have been through a lot here, and it's starting to show. Caught him dreaming again with that kick. This thing could be over, ladies and gentlemen, at any moment, I think. Nope. The kind of powerful blows that they're throwing in there and how wobbly they're starting to get. Something bad could happen. No, he is cut. Kalish is cut under the left eye. That is his blood. Oh, that one may have been in the back of the head there, that punch. Oh, just knocked the taste right out of his mouth with that shot. Ran into that one, a left hand there. Kalash again with the turning back kick. And a spinning back fist, but that one was way off the mark. There's the back fist again. Kelesh is really trying to get that highlight reel knockout here. He just won't stop with the back fist. Can't blame him if they keep landing. Trying to keep that distance, jogging around the cage here. Oh boy, walked right into a shot that time. Back fist, ooh, he paid for it that time, right in that injured eye. Nice body shot there, looking for the liver. You see Morozan wipe away at the eye there. Some of that blood may be trickling down into his eye. Oh, caught him hard that time. Shoots in for a takedown, gets stuffed there by Morozan. Oh, he finishes it strong though. Oh, clubbed him with the right. And Kelesh gets in a couple of shots there as we take a look at Doreen Damir, president of FIA Championship, having a chat there with our announcer, Vladimir Markochi. They are enjoying this action as much as we are, ladies and gentlemen. What a tremendous fight this one has been. These two just brutalizing each other. I think that the winner, <laughs> did you see that kick? Oh my God, wow. What a work of art that was. If Picasso were a kick, that's what he would be.
Well, there you can see there is a s small cut. Nothing fight stopping about that cut, but uh, it is swollen, so he must have got popped pretty good there under the left eye. Good body shot. I think that's when that cut must have been from when Morozan was standing over him and throwing punches downward. Whoa, he threw himself on the ground. Look out. This fight's all over the place. Well, the ring maybe, yeah, it does look like it's slippery over there. The cage is all wet over in the uh, blue corner. That's his own corner. So, <laughs> you know, look at that. Slipping and sliding all over the place. Safe at home. And the ref gonna take matters into his own hands here and just mop it up. a boy. Want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, I guess. And here we go, folks. We are in the third and final round here in this FIA Championship MMA rules bout at lightweight. Head kick blocked that time wisely. Spinning back fist yet again. He's trying to set the record for the most back fists in one fight. Alexander Romanov looking on in the corner of Sergei Kalesh. Or excuse me, in the... Yes, that was him. That was Alexander Romanov. In, whoa, look out. Oh, it says no. This guy has spun around more times in this matchup than a figure skater. really slowing down here in round three and who can blame him they're both still looking for creative striking opportunities however things have really slowed down looks like a little trickle of blood here starting to flow from under the left eye of Morozan Shoots in again and gets him again. See what he follows through with. Comes down hard with the right hand. May have got a foot in the face. Those punches being blocked. Tries to pass the legs but gets caught in the guard. Stands up yet again looking for strikes. That blood being splattered all over the ring. Painting a pretty little abstract picture. Whoa, that one may have gotten through. That one was almost in the groin. Hard kicks there to the legs. Those are doing damage. Little cat and mouse game going on here. Having a little bit of trouble getting through those arms and those legs. That one may have gotten through. Creep up on about one minute left here in round number three. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a uh, championship bout in the penultimate matchup of the evening once we kick off the main card. It is for the interim featherweight championship in MMA as Kadir Dalkiran of Turkey takes on Nikolai Hantea for the title. And they're gonna stand them up here with about 30 seconds remaining. Medic, please. 
And is the referee calling for, yeah, he wants to get the Morozan cleaned up a little bit here. I always see the same uh, ringside doctors here, and it's that's good to see because it means that they're experienced and they know uh, what kind of cuts can stop a fight and what kind should you know not. And that that's very good to see that they've got. Uh, the, the same doctors and very experienced doctors here, and we don't have to worry about somebody who doesn't know what he's doing stopping a fight for a cut that's not worth it. Trying to take him down, and I think he threw his own head into the base of the cage there. Trying to work on the leg, gives up, gets ripped down to the ground here. Trying to take the back, and once again we end up in this position. Final seconds now. And that'll do it. This MMA lightweight bout comes to an end. What a fascinating and hard hitting matchup this turned out to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have another look here. These two absolutely tore the house down in this lightweight contest. It is our only MMA bout on the undercard this evening, and boy, did it stand out as uh, perhaps the most entertaining bout of the evening so far. It'll be hard to top this one. So we go to the judges now. Ladies and gentlemen, when we find out who will be victorious here, keep in mind that there was that uh, point deduction earlier on, and uh, Morozan did lose a point because of that illegal knee. That's certainly going to affect the scorecards here in this one, but just how much? Well, we're about to find out here in just a moment. I not done yet we are not done yet ladies and gentlemen well you can see the the, the cornerman sort of protesting here uh, and, and trying to get in a few more extra words of advice to his cornerman or to his fighter and we will Settle it here in sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. Extra round. Boy, am I glad there was an extra round. Holy cow. Well, I, what, there was a little bit of confusion there. I, I saw the ring announcer kind of like shrugging, like he didn't really know what was going on and did not step into the cage. But there you have it. Extra round, and here we go. Look out. Boy, this is, uh, w w what a debut this is for Kalash's debut fight to go an extra round in this war. That may have been, uh, he was going for the back fist that time, ended up hitting him with an elbow. If this were kickboxing, he'd be penalized for that, not under MMA rules. Oh boy, you could hear that one. That sounded like a baseball bat hitting a tree. Oh, 
Oh, nice left hand that time from Kella. Reaching out that time with the right leg. You can see the wounds of these two guys are really starting to take rare form here. And the right eye of Morozan is really looking gnarly. The left eye of Kelesh is all swollen and gonna be black and blue. It's gonna be a sunglasses kind of a day tomorrow for these guys, sunglasses and ice. Finds the left around the corner that time, does Morozan. Oh, and he caught him good, right on the jaw that time. And again, gets him down for the third time, I believe, in this fight. Oh, and nails him with the right. Still has to contend, whoa, what a maneuver that was. Catches him here, slams him down to the ground. Kalash now. And again, he's having a heck of a time getting past those legs. Morozan knows how to keep his opponent away from him. And it seems like Kalash does not want to contend with the guard of Morozan, but he's really got no other choice here. He doesn't seem to, can't seem to find a way around the legs. But the more tired somebody gets, the harder it's gonna be to keep that up, especially here in the deep waters in this extra round. Still looking for striking opportunities. Still trying to get around the corner. If he can't do it, he'll just try to pop him with a right hand. Just like that. Boom, there's another one. Pounding away on the gloves. Trying to fold him up here, get a little bit closer. Ooh, right hand, a chipping shot. Oh, and finds the stomach that time. Those hands are getting through right around the corner now. Four or five of them in a row now. Kelish getting through. Final seconds now. 20 minutes of action, ladies and gentlemen, in these one. These two went to war in the FIA Championship Lightweight Division. Have another look, ladies and gentlemen, some Highlights here from that extra round. Well, it looks as if we do have some kind of a, de a definitive decision this time around. And so as soon as these highlights are over, we will find out once and for all, ladies and gentlemen, who is the winner here at 70.3 kilos via championship takeoff. Coming your way from Kishino, Moldova. Let's find out who the winner is here momentarily. Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen, by an unanimous decision, the winner is. Sergei Kalash gets the victory by decision. A very hard-earned victory here by Sergei Kalash.